or cause case people versus Corey Duncan. Amber Harris with and on behalf of Mr. Duncan. Mr. Duncan, if you are present, can you please unmute and state your name for the record? Corey Duncan. Um, Your Honor, we are also asking for an adjournment in this matter um, just to finish discussing any plea negotiations. Why aren't these discussions finished? Um, well, I have spoke with Mr. Duncan, and I know what Mr. Duncan is looking for. Um, I reached out to Ms. Kirby um, in regards to Mr. Duncan's matter. Um, I just have to see if Mr. Duncan um, would accept what Ms. Kirby is offering. Um, I have had conversations with him, and it's just certain things that he doesn't agree with. May 18th, 2022, 9 a.m. Can I say something? Yes, sir. If you want to, sir. So basically, the, at the last court, at the last court proceeding, there was like the whatever the breakout room where the discussion of time served. Well, that, hold on, sir, sir. I don't want you discussing anything on the record or with me regarding anything that you may have discussed with your attorney. So I'm going to stop you from saying anything at this point because all of those are privileged communications and I'm not going to have you blurt them out. All right? I got to come back May 18th. Yes, sir. Listen, I, I, don't, I don't understand like why this is like being drug out like this. In any sir, way, shape, or form. Sir, I, all right, hold on. I adjourned it the last time. I was got a request for an adjournment this time for further discussions. My understanding is that there has been communication going on between council. So the only thing that I can do is attempt to try to give you another date so all of that can happen and hopefully there'll be a resolution to the case. I'm saying I already did my time for this case. Like I don't under like I gotta go to work, and every time I'm not even sure. at work right now because I have to get on this screen because because you guys Mr. keep adorning. Mr. Duncan, I don't get it. Like, what's wrong with just giving? I did six and a half years straight. What's wrong with just giving me my time served? Give me whatever restitution. I don't care if you charge. Nobody me has no, sir. Nobody has said any of that to me. I don't, I am not part of those That's discussions. That's what it was discussed last, at the last court date. That is not, I am not part of those discussions. By design, I'm not part of those discussions. So you have to talk to your attorney. He's talking to the prosecutor. You get on here. That's not even my attorney. Like, I don't even understand how this attorney is representing me, like right now. All right, look, I can't. I am not the one to try to resolve those issues with you. If you want to go... get another attorney, because this attorney, obviously, this attorney's calling me the day before. There's a conflict of interest somewhere. Mr. Like, Duncan. I don't know what. Mr. Craigo, right. let me put you and him into a breakout room because you can tell him what I'm trying to tell him. Exactly. He just I'll keeps talk. talking and I not getting anywhere. I got so, it. I'll take can care you of put it. Mr. Trago, Mr. Duncan into a breakout room? Or it does call the case or recall the case, people versus Corey Duncan. On behalf of people. Assistant Public Defender Brian J. Craig on behalf of Mr. Corey Duncan. Mr. Duncan, unmute yourself and state your name for the record, please. My name is Corey Duncan. Thank you, Your Honor. I appreciate the opportunity to speak to Mr. Duncan in the breakout room. At this time, my client would like to tender a plea to of guilty to under the offer that has been extended by the prosecution in this case and it would be a guilty plea to count one in this matter count two would be dismissed we agree that the restitution would be fifteen hundred dollars and my client is rejecting the offer of Haida because he does not wish to be placed on a period of probation is that your understanding mr duncan of what how you wish to proceed today um uh, yeah i mean there's the whole like intertwined process. Is that, is, is that a yes or no? Is that how you want to proceed? I mean, I want to just make sure it's um, like clear as to why I, I would, I, I don't want the height of like that way there's an understanding there. I don't know if we can do that after or before. Your Honor, I think there's been a clear breakdown in communication. So we will again, revisit the adjournment 
Mr. Duncan wished to resolve it today. We had a lengthy discussion about that. It appears that he is now changing his mind. So we will ask for that adjournment so he can come back and speak what to. What are you talking about, man? That's okay. not what I'm saying. All right. Look, folks, I just have to make sure everybody's clear. Mr. Duncan, just listen to me, please. And that is, is that if there's restitution which is involved, and I get you may want the time served and maybe not want the probation. I don't know if that's it. I'm just gleaning from telling me. If that's the case, that's going to be unlikely unless that probation is paid up front or the, unless the restitution is paid up front. If there's going to be a claim. Like this is five years. When you guys, sir, you walk on sir. did not come get me from the MDOC for this case. What do you Mr. Duncan, about, let the judge finish. You're telling me I got to put $1,500 up out the gate. Otherwise, you I can't don't do know. Third. That's what was said. I didn't yeah. say that out the gate. I just said if, if it's going to be paid over time, that's what's going to happen. I mean, you can listen to me or not listen to me. Fight right. with me if you want. It doesn't matter to me. May 18, 2022. Oh, I'm, I'm not coming back, man. You can suck my motherfucking dick, Mr. Duncan, stop talking, Mr. Duncan. Thank you, Your Honor. Jeez, oh, Pete. Oh, that was enjoyable. All right. 14 a.m. stand in recess. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> he's he's going to go back. You know that. Yes. He's going to be going back. So, by the way, let me have that one. I am going to, and since he is no longer here and doesn't want to go here, and given the comments that he's made to the court, I'm directing that his appearance on the 18th be in person. So they didn't make it a little bit shorter trip to get him where he's probably going to end up. Very good, Your Honor. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Court calls the case, People versus Corey Duncan. And may we approach briefly, please? All right, we're back on the record in the Duncan matter. Um, suffice it to say, my understanding is there'll be a motion to withdraw coming. I'm not going to go through the rationale or ra the reasons on the record. I will indicate that that's forthcoming. I am going to then adjourn this matter out so I can hear that motion and or sign it on paper. I will adjourn it out to... Let's, June to June 8th, 2022 at 9 a.m. This proceeding, as I had indicated the last time, the defendant is ordered to appear in person to the court. So we can, Ms. Kleeman, you can let new counsel know or whatever. I won't issue a warrant at this time because I ordered it for this hearing and he is not here in person. Um, but I'm ordering it for the eighth because apparently he's got something he wants to say to the court. So we'll do it in person, face to face. Thank you. Don, continue. Phone number? Or you, you can't use your iPhone. Um, you know. Which one? <laughs> I'm just asking. Okay, got to get a number. <laughs> you so bad. My God. <laughs> You know, I'll be trying. So yeah, I know. Miss Johnson, I know. You're bless that, you know that, that was bad. That was bad. I should, yeah. I should have said But that. I still love you, though. God bless you. Sorry. <laughs> yes, sir. You. All right. Actually, I think you actually may be down because you're right at our access point. You might be able to just walk right down the hallway and make the appointment. Okay. She, she can do that, Your Honor. Okay. All right. All right, thank you, Mr. Reese. All right, Miss Polera, be nice to Miss Johnson. <laughs> he always is. I know, but you know. I know, but I'm gonna do the right thing. Well, cause the case, people versus Michelle Kresnak. Thank you for being on behalf of the people. Assistant Public Defender Brian J. Craig on behalf of Michelle Kresnak. Miss Kresnak, will you unmute yourself and state your name for the record, please? Michelle Kresnak. Thank you. Your Honor, today's date and time set for a pretrial in this matter. I've attempted to reach Ms. Kresnick by telephone. She was experiencing some phone issues. Everything was going to voicemail. We were unable to speak in anticipation of today's proceedings. Thankfully, she did answer her call this morning. We're asking for a short adjournment so that she can continue to maintain her sobriety and work towards resolution in this case and provide our office the necessary documentation to forward to the prosecutor seeking any potential reduction. June, June 1st, 2022, 9-8. Thank you, Your Honor. Court calls the case, people versus Heather Messina. 
All right, and Ms. Messina, um, there is an offer today to uh, reduce to an impaired driving, and she would like to accept that, but she is going to be pleading no contest. I believe the court should have the police report. And Your Honor, before we take the plea that there is violations that need to be dealt with. Absolutely. Do you have copies of the, the violation report? Um, I know that she had, the last one that I saw was some missed test, I believe. Um, well, now I have a report, bond violation report dated May 12. Okay, that one I don't think that I have received. Well, I will I'll just, to you right now. Okay, thank you. Because I'm just, and while that's being forwarded to you, I have the last five tests, I have cocaine in their system. Okay. Four of the five times. And then there are others before then. I mean, I. Okay. And I did speak with her. I did see the one positive test. I just didn't have the updated report. Um, I did speak with her about it. She does admit to the violations. Um, she expressed to me that she knows that she has an addiction issue. Um, she actually has a bed that is ready and waiting for her at Bear River. They're supposed to come and pick her up today. Um, and she is asking. Where's the proof of that? Do you have um, some sort of documentation of that, ma'am? I don't have documentation. They're just. I have a text message that they said they're 45 minutes away. Because I'm telling you right now, without that documentation, I'm issuing a warrant. And if I need to send Celine PD to get her, then I'll send Celine PD or the state police out there to get her. Okay. If we could pass briefly, I can call the facility and see if I can get that in writing. Somebody better get it. Otherwise... We're, we're, we'll get her. Thank you. Your Honor, I'm so sorry to interrupt, but I wanted to make you aware. I believe Jason Ventra was lighting up a glass pipe earlier. Um, Mr. Ventro? Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Yes, I had to unmute my phone. <clears throat> what were you smoking? Smoking? Excuse me? Yeah, we... You believe he was lighting up a glass pipe just now? Not just there now. Was? Approximately 15 minutes ago. A glass pipe? That's it, Judge. No, Your Honor, I was not lighting no glass pipe. I was picking bumps on my face in the mirror. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll go back and look at it. Okay, yes, please do. <laughs> All right. We'll go back and take a look at that. Please okay. do. <laughs> Court calls the case, people versus Jason Ventro. Ms. Tang, you wanted to say something to the court. Judge, I apologize. I was mistaken. It was his camera angle. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. We reviewed it. That's why we review it. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Court calls the cases of People versus Eric Vermeulen. Eric Anthony Vermeulen. Gotcha. Um, yeah, honor, uh, this is just a, a driving while license suspended. Um, I know Mr. Vermeulen, uh, we don't have updated contact information for him to get in contact with him. Um, the number that is on file belongs to uh, someone else. So I haven't been, I have not been able to reach him in regards to this case. So I'm unsure if he does have a valid driver's license at the moment. He does not have a valid driver's license. Yes, we can hear you, Mr. Vermeulen. Okay, good. Thank you. I'm not good with these phones. Um, I don't have a valid driver's license, and I want to apologize to you and taking the court's time up, but I've done everything that I possibly could to this point to try and satisfy the court. Um, I have other dealings with another court, and they're not letting me move on. They got me set up. He muted. 
Eric, you muted. <laughs> Eric, okay. Yes. All right. Yes, Your Honor, so, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, someone yeah. tried to call in and it's all making all this noise. I'm sorry. So okay. I want to apologize for taking the court's time and, and please understand I've done everything to satisfy the court, uh, both courts. And they're not, now they have me set up for another final settlement. This is my fifth one. And I don't know why they what are doing court, that. What court are you in? This is uh, the Celine Court in Celine. I think it's 14. Okay. The people, at, okay. 14A4. Okay. Have, have the parties worked together to try to figure out what's going on at four as opposed and with this? Yes, Your Honor. If, if I may, Assistant Public Defender Brian J. Crago, I was representing at the time Mr. Vermeulen at 14A4 District Court before Judge Freshour. And he was before the court yesterday. He terminated the services of the public defender's office. It's been a multiple times where he's, we've been appointed. We've been removed from the case. And this is the third iteration. We were removed again at the request of Mr. Vermeulen. It was set for final settlement conference by Judge Freshour. I believe it will be for the August date in which he has, again, terminated the services of the public defender. Your Honor, the reason I've been ter terminating the services is because this is my case and I'm going to suffer or I'm going to not. And I, I feel that public defenders should work for me and they're trying to make my case for me. I, I asked them to file a motion and they did not. And they told me it's frivolous. Well, this is my case. I wanted them to file a motion. I, I feel it's not frivolous and I have Eric, other ways to get, Eric. even talk about it. Eric. Yes, sir. How long have we been going around and around with each other? Oh, man, quite a bit, quite a bit. Okay. But I, okay. I, I don't want to go around but, and around. But just listen, time. just listen. Okay. So you wanted to file a motion. Yes, they were sir. telling you it was frivolous. You don't yes. think it's frivolous, right? No, right. So, so in all this, it's got to be almost two decades we've been dealing with each other. Right. <laughs> so at what point during that time did you pick up your law degree? I didn't, but you know, I didn't I, think honestly, so. I didn't I've been think studying, that. I've been okay. studying law for uh, two years, believe it or not. Eric, Eric, Eric. Yes, sir. What do you want me to do? I want you to please adjourn the case, and I would say as far as three months out because that's not I happening. Know, well, I'll have to. I'll have to. You have two more dealings with the Swain court, I believe. And that, I believe that would be a reasonable <laughs> amount of time to take care of this because they set these about a month and a half out. I'd love to take care of business with you, Your Honor. Please understand I'm, I'm keeping in touch with you. And if we just put it aside for... Eric, I can't do that. This case has been going on. Just... Show, show me how to trade things up and stuff. You just trade this up. Yep. Sure. I don't know. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, <laughs> you still there? Oh Lord. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Eat phones. Can you hear me one more time? Yeah, I hear you. Okay, there you go. All right, Eric. But I, I don't know what to do. I mean, I, I've called, I've done everything, and it's just, I have to get through this court case to uh, get things solved out, and then maybe a little bit more. Okay. Eric, here's what I'm going to do. You need to talk with your attorney. Oh, this yes, case. Sir. You're, you're kind of breaking up, but. Yeah, it's not me. But you need to talk with your attorneys on this case. Okay. Right. I would and, figure, and figure out how you're going to resolve it. I'm going to give you till June 8th. You need to come back with a resolution on this. June 8th. You know, I, I don't believe that's going to be ample time because I'm, I'm okay. Out. Eric, Eric. I, I do want to, I do want to uh, uh, apply, comply <laughs> with you. <laughs> Eric. Yes, sir. All right. 
put your law degree away, talk to your attorneys, come back and see if you can get this resolved. I talked to my attorneys and I hope they understand this is my hey, case. Uh, and uh, I have to uh, Eric, and... Eric. Yes, sir. They don't have to understand anything. You need to okay. listen. This is okay. what happened last time you got convicted. You started doing stuff on your own. Right. I yeah, understand. back when back when you shot the three deer with one bullet. That was all that was your whole defense. Right? Remember? I understand. Yeah. Yes, sir. So how'd that work out for you? That didn't work out very good yeah, at all. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't that work out the well worst thing at that all for you. So this was, is going to head the same way. You're yeah, that was the worst thing drive, that uh, yeah, uh, was Eric, Eric, you're trying to yes, resolve sir. these driving while license suspended with that one bullet theory. Stop it. Listen to your attorneys. I'll listen I'll to them. I'll I see you, listen to Eric. Me I'm done. Yes, sir. I'll see you on the 8th. Very good. I'll see you then. What date, time, the 8th of June, and the time is? You'll get a notice with the time. Okay, I'll follow up if I don't. Usually that comes from your attorney, so you'll get it in this case. The 14-4 case, ah, you may not. I don't know. Okay. I understand. Right. They tell you you got to take care of your obligation. They don't need to remind you. So I understand. I'll take care. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Your Honor. Have a good day. <laughs> and everybody else. <laughs> yeah, too late, but thank you. All right. Let me too try. Late. I got to get this arraignment out of my hand. Hey, is Mr. Bernstein? Yes, everyone. Here? Yes. The court does call the case of the people of the state of Michigan versus. Come on. This is not right. I'm trying to shut this thing off. <laughs> kick him out. Just kick him out, please. Please. Just thank you. Or calls case people versus James Fortin. James, state your name for the record. James Fortin. Okay, what are we doing? Okay. Sean, Mark, I, believe, can... I believe. Go ahead, Caitlin. I believe Mr. Savage is asking for an adjournment because he does have a re it's related case to our case. It's a felony, which is on the 23rd. So the felony will be leading the global resolution. Ah, well, okay. Your Honor, that's that, that's partially accurate. Um, I, I'm not necessarily asking for an adjournment, uh, but that's how my discussion with Ms. Kirby went, that we would adjourn it because it seemed to make sense that this case should be resolved with another case uh, that's up at the circuit court. But I was fine with setting this case for trial. So whatever the court wants to what do. What do you want me to do? Judge, the other case has a, we have a pretrial set for June 27th. I don't know if the court wants to set this for a trial after June 27th. And if I can't resolve it with that case, then we can just move forward with a trial. What do you guys want me to do? I really have no idea what Mr. Savage wants, so. Uh, I, I asked for, <laughs> well, Judge, she knows what I want because I asked for a reduction and- uh, Okay, I fine. What do you want me to do with the case today? Set it for trial. Final settlement conference, June 15th, 2022, 1.30. Jury selection, June 17th, 2022, 8.30. Those proceedings are in person. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Honor. Court calls, really. Court calls the case, Brian Schoen. What are we doing? Uh, Your Honor, in this case, um, ultimately, Mr. Schoen has already entered one of the various pleas um, in the global resolution here, where once all pleas are received, I believe it's the people's position that they would be dismissing this case in its entirety. The final plea is the global uh, in the global resolution is before Your Honor tomorrow on the PCC docket tomorrow afternoon. I 
don't want to speak for Miss Kirby, but I anticipate she may want all pleas to be entered prior to dismissing the case, so which would require an adjournment beyond tomorrow. That is correct, Your Honor, um, but I would just be entering a nollie. So if we could just have the June 1st date and then I'll submit the paperwork after the plea is taken tomorrow. Thank you. I like how Ms. Kirby got right to the point. I don't know, Hall was taking like forever. It was, it was like reading, it was like listening to like the, the digital version of War and Peace. <laughs> <laughs> It was the best of times. It was the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> June first, two thousand two thousand twenty-two, nine a.m. Mercy June Friday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Shum. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, we call it. At, at what time, Judge? I'm sorry. I just really need to use the restroom. I've been on since oh, twelve forty-five. Go, because okay. Cause, all right, go, no, go. No, Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs>